June 15th, St. Vitus, Modestus, and Crescentia Martyrs. Vitus was the only son of a senator of Sicily named Hylas. The boy was converted to Christianity at a young age and was baptized without the knowledge of his parents. The numerous miracles and conversions he effected, however, attracted the notice of Valerian, the administrator of Sicily, who joined with Hylas in trying to detach him from the faith. But neither promises nor threats nor even torture could shake the boy's constancy. Moved by divine inspiration, Vitus escaped from Sicily with his tutor Modestus and his attendant Crescentia. An angel guided their boat safely to Lucania, where they remained for a time preaching the gospel to the people and sustained by food brought to them by an eagle. Then they went to Rome, and St. Vitus cured the son of Emperor Diocletian by expelling the evil spirit that possessed him. But because he would not sacrifice to the gods, his powers were attributed to sorcery. He was cast into a cauldron filled with molten lead, pitch, and resin, from which he emerged as from a refreshing bath next a lion to which he was exposed crouched before him and licked his feet then modestus crescentia and he were racked on the iron horse until their limbs were dislocated at this juncture a great storm arose which destroyed many temples killing a multitude of pagans an angel now descended from heaven set the martyrs free and led them back to lacania where they peacefully expired worn out by their sufferings so great was the devotion to St. Vitus that developed in Germany that he was included among the fourteen holy helpers. He came to be regarded as a special protector of epileptics as well as those suffering from the nervous affliction called after him, St. Vitus's Dance. And he is regarded as the patron of dancers and actors. He is also invoked against storms, oversleeping, the bites of mad dogs, the bites of serpents, and against all injuries that beasts can do to men. Hence, he is often represented accompanied by an animal. In Sicily, the people still come to the little church of Regalabuto to solicit St. Vitus's help for the cure of mad people. This is proved by a booklet of Monsignor Salvatore, published as recently as 1934. What happiness for an infant to be formed naturally to all virtue, and for the spirit of simplicity, meekness, goodness, and piety to be molded in its tender frame. Such a foundation being well laid, further graces are abundantly communicated, and a soul improves daily these seeds, and rises to the height of Christian virtue, often without experiencing severe conflicts of the passions.